Here's a quick update on the Mars One project, which I previously talked about in a video with a slight amount of skepticism over whether or not this uh, project would really be able to launch a bunch of non-astronauts to Mars in the next decade. One of the concerns I brought up was the expertise of the chosen 100 finalists, because way too many of them seem to be artists or business school graduates and not people who would be able to, say, set up a colony on Mars and survive. Well, one of the finalists, Joseph Roche, who actually may have been qualified, seeing as he had a PhD in astrophysics, has come forward to expose some more problems with Mars One. Last month, The Guardian posted an article showing the top 10 finalists according to Mars One, which ranked everyone based on a point system. Well, Roche pointed out that those points are earned by how much money you give Mars One. So you can earn points by uh, making it to another round or by buying mugs and t-shirts or just by donating your money to Mars One. Mars One even asked the finalists to go ahead and accept money to do interviews, but then donate 75% of their fee back to Mars One. This is a bit alarming considering that Mars One needs billions of dollars to launch this project, and here they are relying on the sales of $18 coffee mugs. In addition to this high school drama club bake sale mentality, Roche also revealed that Mars One chose its finalists using nothing more than a 10-minute Skype conversation. He had originally been led to believe that there would be some sort of in-person interview to figure out who would be capable of traveling with a group of people a very, very long way into space and then dying together on a distant planet. There's also the relatively minor problem of Mars One no longer having a television production partner, which was supposed to be the entire way that they were going to raise all the money they needed. So that could be an issue. Roche points out that he went public because he's worried that when Mars One eventually fails, the general public will lose any interest in supporting real initiatives that have a chance to work, like from NASA. And I think he has a point. So my suggestion is that we make an executive order demanding that all Mars One employees be rounded up in 10 years time and loaded into whatever janky ass rocket they are able to cobble together. And then we fire them into space. And maybe that will provide some real incentive for them to make sure they've got all their ducks in a line uh, instead of maybe just raising however much money they can and then not doing anything good with it.